everyone and of course welcome to red united tv it's your boy ivor and spice back at it again delivering you the latest manchester united news and first of all let's just get it out the way if you're new to this channel remember to subscribe smash that like button and also remember to share because sharing ivor and spice is only caring guys Thank you for those who are watching right now. If you want to contribute to this channel, remember you can always contribute to the channel in the link description via PayPal and also catch me on a live YouTube. Of course, you can send your super chats to help contribute to improve the content of this channel. Of course, the quality is what you want and you're here for it, guys. As always, remember to press that notification bell up to get your latest match reaction, your latest news, and of course, your latest podcast that comes out every goddamn week, guys. But yes, let's get straight to the case, you know. Let's not just blab on all about this, but you guys are here for your latest news. And of course, today we will be discussing Manchester United in chaos regarding the news that's coming out of the media. Ruben Nevis to Manchester United. Richard Arnold being announced as the new CEO next month. And of course, Van der Beek's future and transfer news, if I have any. But let's start us straight up, guys, regarding the news that's going on in around Manchester United, what's coming out in your social feeds, what you're seeing on Twitter. And the question is, as you can see the title, Manchester United in chaos. And as you know, guys, and as you read, coming out from United reports on Twitter, make sure you follow them, One Football app. Make sure you follow Sky Sports News, everyone, The Sun, every Tom, Dick and Harry, just Tom, Dick, Baba Tunde, uh, you know what I mean, Ahmed, you know, everyone's talking about it. All Manchester United in chaos after the defeat against Wolves. Latest news, again, more news have come on dressing room unrest. And it's quite funny. It's funny how all these news are coming out when Manchester United lose. You know, they just want to spark a level of negativity towards the, the fans. Nothing came out when we battered or we beat Burnley 3 1. But of course, dressing room unrest is coming out now that Ralph Ragnar is in charge of Manchester United. And it's just funny. Where was all this negative dressing room unrest? You let that go for three years under a previous manager, you know, the previous regime, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Now that you have Ralph Ragnar, who's not a Manchester United legend, who is German, and you know the history between the English and the German. So if they have to bring out some news to spoil this German's name, they will. But of course, when we was under mediocre coaching for three years, nothing bad came out until towards the end of Oli Gunnar's tenure. So it's so interesting that these medias are ready to come out straight away for Ralph after just having one month in charge of Manchester United and not being able to train, having COVID crisis and etc. No one's going to take that into consideration, but there is dressing room unrest. But for us Manchester United fans to hear such things, we just look at it and read it and think, these players have no rights if any of these stories are, that's coming out are true because these players now, as fans, we are under the belief that it is not the manager, it is these players. They just can't, they just can't carry instructions. They're not good enough, some of these players, and you guys know that. But let's get straight into the news that I will be discussing. This is coming from the United Reports, or we'll be going throughout the whole series of tweets that came out from the morning, guys. A lot of things were quite funny, to be honest with you. But yeah, we start off this morning, as you can see right there. Man United players are becoming sick to death of dwindling standards at the clubs and our resentment in festering among some of the underused players. This, of course, came from Samuel Lockhurst, who works for Manchester United Evening News. Of course, guys, make sure you subscribe to them as well. Follow them as well on Twitter. But yeah. They are saying that Man United fat players are sick to death of hearing all of these kind of stuff. But, well, guys, you deserve, you deserve it. You deserve any criticism because every time we lose, we're sorry. We know we let you fans down. All that nonsense and etc. that comes out of your Twitter, your Instagram pages. We are tired of hearing, we're sorry. This is not an episode of South Park, you know, when you mess up. We're sorry that we messed up. We're sorry that we let you down. Stop being sorry and put actions, you know, to it. And of course, later on in that day, Man United reports um, came out and tweeted, several Man United players have been peripheral figures in the United League campaign and are feeling at, feeling at the club in social non-confrontational management style has left several high-profile players disenchanted. 
which of course, guys, you know that the effects of our previous manager, the previous regime, of course, him selling dreams to Donny van der Beek, selling dreams to Jesse Lingard, that I need you, you're important, you're going to be playing this season, but not offering them games has gone in a bad way. Bad light as well. And a lot of players are frustrated the fact that they couldn't understand why Van der Beek wasn't getting any chances. And Jesse Lingard wasn't getting any chances. Looking good in training. Some of Jesse Lingard's teammates believe that he's overdue a run in the Man United team and amid Jaden Sancho's struggles. Mason Greenwood, apparent greediness is also believed to have rallied some teammates. Dressing room sources say that confrontations is brewing between a number of Manchester United players and Ragnar if moves or not sanctioned this month. And of course, guys, you guys know that players like Jesse Lingard is unhappy, Van der Beek is unhappy, Dean Henderson is unhappy. They all want to be moved on or sent on loan. And it's just to continue getting some playing time to save themselves for the World Cup, of course. as you, World Cup will be coming at the end of this year. And these players need to be playing first and foremost to get noticed by the national coach. So this year is very important for some of these players. You guys can agree on that. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button as well. And of course, it's more came out, which I will tell you about later on. So yeah, guys, as I was saying before, news came out with Harry Maguire himself saying that to lead rally the troops to go against Cristiano Ronaldo, how they, he's up, they're upset that Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, points out their flaws and etc. Harry Maguire, who needs to look after his own performances, he's the one that's leading this whole charge against Cristiano Ronaldo, that they're frustrated with Cristiano Ronaldo and how he tells them how shit they are. Well, you are shit. You can't tell Cristiano Ronaldo nothing, guys. Cristiano Ronaldo is a Five or six time Ballon d'Or winner who's done it in his career at Manchester United before he, and after, you know. He's done it at Manchester United, done it at Real Madrid, and he's done it at Juventus, done it on an international level. I don't believe that this is actually happening because Maguire can't lead a pack of ants to a picnic. So, how can he leave a pack of football players to go against Cristiano Ronaldo? You can see that on the pitch, he's not a leader, you know. People are telling him, go and speak to the referee, bro. You're the man in charge of this team. Go and speak. You are the captain of this ship, but you're out here not challenging the referee. Do your job. Of course, again, I said before, Harry Maguire needs to look after his own game. And his own game has been terrible. So for him to go to someone else and point out that they don't like this and they don't like that, bro, you better check yourself, bro, before you wreck yourself. That as well came out. But another news that came out yesterday and today as well, that's been surfacing around, Ruben Neves to Manchester United. It has been reported by the Sun, guys, that Manchester United are determined to sign Ruben Neves. Again, guys, I will share my screen with you guys so you can see this article for yourself. It is stated that Manchester United right here, Manchester United are determined to sign Ruben Neves in January transfer windows. Wolves start impressed again during Old Trafford's victory. As you know, Wolves beat Manchester United 1 0 in the last 10 minutes of the game. Manchester at Old Trafford, Manchester United had a horrible performance, and which led to so much questions for the Manchester United players. You know, as you know, the Wolves midfielder Neves has two years left on his contract um, at Molyneux and has been. But has always spoken about his desire to play in the Champions League. Ruben Neves is the player that I have as well, two or three years ago, when he was at the Championship playing for Wolves, when coming from the Sporting Lisbon on loan and then making a the permanent move. I saw Ruben Neves as the player that could potentially be eyed up by Real Madrid and also Barcelona. I saw the talent in him, the able to dictate tempo from playing holding midfielder. People think he's not a holding midfielder, but his job is actually to play as a deep line playmaker. A holding midfielder, a Michael Carrot role, you know, a Sergio Busquets role that you guys like the most. He's not the, you know, the rough neck in midfield that will destroy and play, get the ball, give the man. He can do that as well. He's also good at intercepting, but he's also a player that can also create from deep as well and score long range shots and free kicks and set pieces as well. So Ruben Neves is a player that I would always be interested in. I think it will be a good signing. 40 million is a steal. But then again, Manchester United coming into play. The Manchester United tax will come into play as well. So will he leave for 40 million? I reckon Wolves will probably think, hmm, if, if Leicester got 80 million for that slab at Maguire, 
and and Manchester United paid 50 million for Aaron Wan Bissaka, Booker T, the guy that can't do spin the Rooney rights five times, you know. We can definitely get at least 60 million from these scrubs, you know. Edward is still there at the moment, so we could try, you know, chief him out. I would welcome, guys, the sanction on and trans um and transfer of Ruben Neves. I don't know what you guys think of it, but I definitely would um go for Ruben Neves. I have been an admirer of Ruben Neves ever since he stepped or graced the fields of the Premier League, ever since he's come up with Wolves. He's a terrific, terrific footballer, very good on the ball as, as, as well. I think he will fit into Manchester United, but however, with Manchester United, nothing goes right for us. We throw money at problems and it never gets resolved. We sign players of the highest caliber, they come to Manchester United and then look a shadow of a doubt the player that they was at the previous club. So there's a lot of things. So we could get Ruben Neves, he can come here and do not do well. But that is for the news regarding Ruben Neves. Moving on to that, guys. One of the biggest news that came out, Richard Arnold himself has been announced as the new CEO for Manchester United, which his job role will take in place in February the 1st. So it, which means that Ed Woodward will be stepping down in his position at six foot seven months ago. He already resigned. So, yep, he will be stepping down. And as we know and as we understand, he may not take that court, um, consultancy role that we heard of. Um, he might just get be getting rid of, you know, and that's what we want. With Ed Woodward himself, Ed Woodward himself has reported that he's disappointed on how things has, you know, pan out for, at Manchester United, you know, not being able to deliver success trophies after Alex Ferguson retired. His whole tenure as a CEO has been a failure and he needs to recognise that he didn't deliver any success at Manchester United on the pitch. Maybe off the pitch he did, but on the pitch he didn't, guys. He let us down. The transfers, that the amount of money we spent, the failures of players that we, we bought and got rid of, even the, the outgoing of fees and etc. was a joke, you know. Really was a joke. He, he's disappointed in his old tenure, you know. I wouldn't, your next job, don't mention that you were CEO of Manchester United because that might not get you the job, Edward, would you know? They might just look at you and say, is it that failing football club that used to be good? As soon as you took over, they went down the drain. I don't think we want to hire you as our CEO. You may be good to get us money, but in terms of what we do, our bread and butter, we won't be hiring you. If we were after money, we might call you. But Edward Wood has announced that he will not be in charge anymore and he will be stepping down. In fact, me, I hope that they let him go on the 28th. I don't want him here on Monday the 31st. Why do you deserve one more day at Manchester United in that week, you know? The 28th, which is a Friday, after the 28th, I want your ID card banned, taken away from you, your email account suspended, you know, deleted, all your logins at Manchester United deleted. So when you don't even try to come in on Monday. If you do come in on Monday, they'll just tell you that, you know what? Yeah. You've got one more day, it's the 31st. I need to honor my contract. You don't work here. We don't need you. Richard Honor will be in tomorrow. In fact, he's already upstairs doing your job right now as we speak. And Richard Honor, as well, as we know, know, as I know, and from the information I heard, guys, he's a person because he's seen Ed Woodward fail. And he was, he's, he's, he's understudy, he's number two. He's seen him fail on the football inside. So he's, from what I've heard, he's decided that he's going to step away from the football inside and let football people handle the football inside which i am delighted to hear and he will handle the commercial side you know he's gonna do what he's good at bringing money into the club while football experts like ralph ragnett which he was very keen and keen to push that move for ralph ragnett to come to match united so they, they can learn everyone at the club can learn from ralph ragnett regarding the football inside but yeah match united have announced it they did make their their announcement which was very short and snappy I don't understand why it was so short, sure, but it was. Right here, it says that United announced new chief executive, Richard Arnold. This is his best picture. I've seen many pictures, and trust me, he doesn't look this 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 suave, you know. He doesn't look this handsome. His previous pictures, he looks scruffy. He looks like what Manchester United would look like right now. Scruffy, you know, bimbos, traps at the moment. That's what I call my club, guys. Manchester United have announced that Richard Arnold formally... Group Managing Director will become Chief Executive Officer, which we all knew that was going to happen. 
of the club, effective from the 1st of February 2022. Ed Woodward would step down from his role as executive vice chairman, also executive from also effective from the 1st of February 2022. He should be 28. Richard Arnold said, I am honored to have the chance to serve this great club and its fan. I am determined to return that that honor in any way I can. You better do that. Joel Glazer himself said that executive co-chairman said, I would like to thank Ed for his tireless work on behalf of Manchester United during his nine years as executive chairman and 16 years with the club. I didn't even know he was with the club for 16 years. Yeah, he was definitely there to bunker the club. I didn't know what his role was during that time when when he got the Glazers to buy Manchester United. I, I reckon, as I understand, he was the honest study to um, Dave Gill. We are now looking forward to Richard and his leadership team opening a new phase in the club evolution. The ambitious plan for investment in Old Trafford. Yep, Old Trafford will be invested, you know, refurbishment will be done. The strengthening of our in, engagement with fans and continued drive towards our most important objective, winning on the pitch. You know, that is very important, winning on the pitch. Well, let's see if May Night will focus on winning on the pitch. Last but not least, Van der Beek, Manchester United have decided to keep Van der Beek throughout this whole transfer window. They do not want to entertain any outgoings regarding Van der Beek. They see him as a valuable asset in terms of their squad, which is a lie because he's not going to get any first-team football. We shall see about that. But they do not want to let him go. We shall see whether Dean Henderson will be allowed to go or known. Ahmed Diallo as well has been promised to let go on out on loan. Ethan Lard as well has gone on loan to Bournemouth as well and has been announced. But yeah, guys, this has been your latest Manchester United news. Of course, remember to subscribe to Red United TV since you watched all the way here and you're loving it. Make sure you follow all the socials as well. Follow me on Instagram as well and also Twitter. Link above and also in the link description. And of course, guys, if you want to contribute to the channel, send me some contribution via PayPal so, you know, we can improve the quality, the content of this channel. But guys, as always, Again, I will leave you with the Football Fan App TV ad that I am on. Make sure you download Football Fan App TV. It's great for football content, football lovers. Make sure you download it. And, of course, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it red united. See you next time. See you for the next uh, match reaction. And, of course, match reactions for the African Cup of Nations for Ivory Coast. Peace! Watch, watch, watch. Check out the Football Fan App. My skills. My photos, our podcasts, my views, my mates, <laughs> this banter, man, my live score update, our club, our, our fan coin rewards. rewards, my followers. And it's all for you. Download the dedicated football fan app made by football fans for football fans.